Hello, and welcome back to The Franchise Life. Today, we are covering a concept called Image Studios. And with me, I have the CEO and founder, Jason Olson. Welcome, Jason. Great. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. You bet. All right. So Image Studios, I started really, well, actually my consultant business started in 2015, and this was one of the very first concepts that I was enamored with, uh, because that is the year that you started franchising. And fast forward to today, Image Studios has 275 locations sold with 80 currently open throughout the United States. And another 45, I believe, that are in development. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, 40. Well, we're projected to open hopefully 45 in 2024. So incredible growth. Congratulations. Thank you. So, okay. Tell us what Image Studios is. Yeah. So, Image Studios is a salon suite. And so, a lot of people may be familiar with it. Maybe some people aren't. The best way to describe it is it's similar to like an executive office suite, like we work or office evolution, um, a co-working space. But instead of building office suites for startups, we build salon suites for startup hair salons, nail salons, aesthetics and waxing studios. And so we we build these beautiful spaces where people can leave a leave a salon or a spa and come open their own business. And typically most people are sole proprietors. So that's, they're just running their own business. They're servicing their own clientele. They might have an assistant, but it's a room built for one or two occupants and their client. And I actually have, for people that may not be familiar with it, I'll share something real quick, just to give a visual for this, for any of your viewers that are on video right now. But um, when you walk into an image studios, um, this is what it looks like. So you walk in, it's the really beautiful spaces. And then each of these studios you can see here, like this one on the corner is for an aesthetics professional. Um, this one here on the left is for a hairstylist. And so as you walk throughout these buildings, there, there's rooms that are 100 to 150 square feet. Each of them has their own storefront. They have their own signage. And what we do is we build out these studios so they're turnkey. So someone can move in just a few days after they sign a lease and they can start operating their business. And so it's really fun because what we're we build this entrepreneur collective of beauty professionals who are all starting a business, most of them for the first time. So when you're when you're an image studios owner, you're a property manager at, at your core, but really what you're doing is helping coach and mentor people who are looking at taking a leap and starting a business. And it's such a fun business to be in because at the end of the day, you're working with other entrepreneurs. You're not managing their business. They're managing their own business. They're signing a lease agreement usually for 12 or 24 months with you. But to be, as you know this, because you do this every day, but to work with entrepreneurs is so much fun. And I, I always say the reason I love that is because entrepreneurs, I think everyone has a dream, but entrepreneurs are doers. And so they, they have those dreams. They have that vision of what they want to do and they assess risk and they move forward. They don't get paralyzed by risk. They don't get paralyzed by analysis. They, they're they really good at just thinking through what they know. And I think entrepreneurs, you know, good entrepreneurs are not, we don't think that we're, we know everything. The idea is we know what we know, we know what we don't know, and we go learn what we need to, to find out where those gaps are. And that's really what I love about the franchise model is we're helping assist other, you know, a lot of our owners are either previous entre entrepreneurs that have been in corporate America. They don't need, they don't need to have entrepreneurship history in their background, but they just need to have that desire to learn. And that's really why when we work with great owners who have that passion to start their own business, work with other business owners, and then um, help others succeed, it's a perfect formula for what people are looking for. You know, you touched on how within this model, the franchise owner is really helping and providing a platform for other entrepreneurs to thrive in, particularly within the beauty and wellness space, right? I loved your walk through the 3D imagery. It's a very, and one of the things that really drew me to Image Studios was the look and feel and that modern aspect to it. 
it just really draws you in. And I, I mean, personally, if I were, let's say a hairstylist and I would be so proud to walk into an image studios where I owned and operated my business. So I love this concept for a few reasons. It is really, this is a great concept for semi passive ownership. And when I say that, from what I know of the model, really, once this business is up and operating, and you have filled out your space or your occupancy within your studio, there's really very little management that takes place. So what would you yeah. say? What would you say based upon that? What a mature studio owner, how much time are they really spending on the business? Yeah, good question. So the first year is usually the most time intensive part of the process um, because you're in site selection, you're doing LOI negotiation, which we help with, you know, when you're looking at spaces. Once you sign that lease, then you start construction and we help manage that project for you. But that's building a space of any kind, building a house, anything. It's a, it's a lot of work while it's going on, but it usually lasts about three to four months. And then the first year of, of operations is when you're getting, you're doing a lot of the recruiting, you're meeting people on site, you're giving tours, you're signing leases and helping them move in. But really the, the, the goal is once you get that space filled to 100%, then your daily operation routine is, is pretty straightforward, right? And so we recommend that once owners have their space filled, making two site visits a week, you know, just drop in for a half hour, an hour, say hi to everyone, check in with them, see if they need anything, if they, if they need any maintenance on their space or anything like that. Um, and then you're meeting people on site when you have a, a studio open up to give a tour. So you're, you're there a couple times a week, maybe two to three times a week, coordinating maintenance as it comes up with a handyman. But, you know, if you get, I, I've always said that there's a couple of key components to success in this business, right? You've got to find the right site, which we help a ton with. Then you've got to build it right. As you saw, the visual layout of these spaces is absolutely gorgeous. That's where, it's where we really shine. You know, when people walk in, you know, this, I've always believed that the spaces that we work in, regardless of what your profession is, but I feel like the space, the physical space that you occupy should inspire you. And so we've, we've taken that philosophy very seriously that we want these spaces to be a platform for beauty. We want them to look and feel like the nicest thing you would see in New York, LA, or, my, or Miami. We want them to be, we want it to be available to everyone in Salt Lake, Denver, Houston, Atlanta, Raleigh, like anywhere in the country, these beautiful spaces that where they are, we attract these top talent beauty professionals. So you build it right. You've got to fill it with the right people. So then that recruiting part is how do you identify the perfect person for a space like this? And we help, we help people identify and kind of ask the right questions to find out how long they've been in the business, how busy they are, and, and really make sure they're a good fit for the community. But so you build it right. you got to fill it with the right people. And then that third component is you've got to treat them right, right? Great customer service is key. But if you get those three pillars nailed, the business is very easy to operate once it's at 100%. And it's a really fun lifestyle business. And I'll give you an example. When I first started Image Studios was in 2010. I built five locations in five years from 2010 to 2015. There's about one a year that I opened up. And then at 2000, at the end of 2015 is when we started franchising. But at the end of 2015, I had those five locations. I was managing all five. I had one W-2 employee that was helping me with leasing, recruiting, and maintenance. And then I had two 1099 janitors like just contract workers. And I had two 1099 handyman that were just on call whenever we needed. So to have five rooftops, 30,000 square feet of space under management and over 200 beauty professionals that were tenants of Image Studios, that was the operational team. It was me and one W2. And again, that and I had that employee with me because I was also getting ready to launch the franchise. So I was also 50% of my time was dedicated to starting another business, right? Because the franchise company is a separate business. And so it's it allows, you know, simple business model, which allows for a scalable, you know, strategic growth plan. So a lot of times people are really drawn to this because it's a great way to 
to create some other passive income through real estate by renting out these spaces. But then I think a lot of people realize this is also a great business to scale because of scaling any business, you, you go from one location to two, it's not twice the work and twice the complexity, it's actually exponential. It gets, you know, you add more locations of any business and it gets a lot more complicated. But this business is just, it's one that you can scale with a lot of precision because your cash flow from operations is very predictable because we collect rent on a weekly basis from every tenant. So you have cash flow coming in every Friday, which then based on these lease agreements, you have a lot of consistency in that cash flow. And I think one of the hardest parts in any business when you're an entrepreneur is managing cash flow, because when you're in a seasonal business or retail or food, the trends are always up and down and, and it's affected by weather. It's affected by what holidays are going on, uh, what's going on in the economy. And in this case, you know, these, this is also an industry that's very stable and resilient. Beauty is one of the few industries that tends to stay extremely strong during downturns, recessions, and depressions. And that's what drew me to it originally, because prior to being an entrepreneur with Image Studios, I had started two other companies prior to that that were in the automotive industry. And one was a car dealership. And I did that for 15 years. And that was a great business. But to scale up business with 100 employees and 300 cars is a very complicated endeavor. And coming from that end of the spectrum to this was just 100% difference from what it takes to operate a successful location. And also to add is the scalability was was a key driver for me. I just, I've always wanted to scale and grow, but I, you know, what I also value immensely, which I think most people do is our precious resource of time. And I think freedom for an entrepreneur, that is why most people want to take a risk and start a business is they want that freedom. But how do you do that where you go out, start a business and then not sell your soul to the time clock, right? And I think that's really where we've seen just, we love this business so much. I've been, I've been so passionate about it since day one. And our owners that are coming into this brand are professionals that have been in either corporate America or they've had other businesses or they, we have doctors, we have accountants, anyone, any background is fine to operate this. You don't have to have any experience in beauty, which I didn't have coming into it. But, but I think what the end of the day, we're all looking to solve for how do we create more upside for us in our careers and then more cash flow and, and predictability of that cash flow, which is what, what this business does. So it's so much fun. Well, your passion definitely shines through, Jason. It's you just stole a few of my questions just in that one <laughs> in that one response. And I will say just one one thing on that that I just want to mention to those. We also seem to you know the people that are drawn to this. A lot of them have either wanted to be an investor in real estate of some kind, or they already are investors in real estate. They might have some rental homes. Or the, again, so we're people that are drawn to the real estate aspect. Again, we everyone loves real estate because it has that reoccurring revenue built into it through those lease agreements. But so, if anyone out there that's listening has always has been interested in becoming a, a real estate investor, it's a great way to get in where you can you can also then be leasing to a cohort of people who are from an industry again that is extremely resilient. So we see very little change in our leasing activity during the recession, during upturns, downturns, it's very stable because beauty, the beauty consumer, the client that's going to the hairstylist is going every six weeks. They're, they're going very, very, they're very loyal to their hairstylist or their nail artist or their esthetician. And even when things are tough economically, beauty spending on personal care services is one of the last things a consumer will cut. At the, it's got, it's like one of the absolute last things because if they if things are tough, they can't go on that vacation, they can't remodel the kitchen, or they can't get that new car, or whatever they're used to doing, they can still spend a little bit of money to feel really good about themselves, which is why spending in beauty is typically very stable, despite whatever's going on in the economy, which I just love. Because prior to that, being an automotive, I was... I was married to the economy, right? If it was up, it's up. When it's down, it's down. And you really don't have a lot of control over what consumers are spending when you're in other types of businesses. But this one is so much different, which is great. 
Yeah, I mean, even heading into 2024, when looking at the franchise industry and what segments are really thriving and growing, health, beauty, and wellness is definitely in the top three. So, okay, so let's unpack a little bit. When when a franchise owner is considering Image Studios as a potential investment, you are looking at space anywhere between four to 9,000 square feet. And based upon that, you you would build out anywhere between 24 to 45 individual salon suite studios, which in turn means 24 to 45 independent business owners. So based upon that, what really, you mentioned you have owners from across the board, but what would you say are the attributes of those collective owners in your system that make them successful and thrive and what you look for in potential franchisees? Yeah, great question. You know, some of those traits that we see our most successful owners possess, you know, the first one is they're, they're, they're willing to follow a process, right? I think part of why the franchise model appeals to so many investors is it's a proven system that has been tested and tried over time in many different variations and iterations. And the idea with that is that you start, you really work out a lot of those kinks that you encounter if you were to do it on your own. And so looking back when I started, you know, my first three locations, they're good, but I learned and made multiple mistakes on design, layout, configuration, cost, and all that other stuff that you just learn only by making those mistakes. And you don't learn until you've made them. Unfortunately, in most businesses, just like this one, once you've built the business, though, those mistakes are codified into the business. They're permanent, right? Because you know those layouts might have been wrong on the first one. I, on the first location, I, I had the sizes of the studios all messed up. It was they were all too large for what it was, so I didn't really uh, get as much efficiency out of it. But the idea is that that you can tap into a collective institutional knowledge base that has been proven out, not just from my history in the business for the last thirteen years, but also we have eighty locations in twenty four states. And these are all different markets doing the same thing, but we are collecting data and best practices and we're tweaking the system constantly to make sure that when, when someone buys a franchise and signs up to build a location, the idea is that they can, they're getting that collective knowledge, not just from corporate, but also from 80 other locations and operations. So they really, the idea is that you speed up the time it would take to get open and generate revenue. So you shorten that runway. So you can cash flow. The idea is you want to cash flow as soon as possible and break even as soon as possible. And then, and then again, also leverage the brand, right? So the, 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 the brand affinity that we create, the, the brand recognition for image studios, you know, one of our taglines is image is everything. And we, we don't mean that in a sort of shallow pretentious way, but it, we mean really it is because what we provide is the whole operating system, not just the design and construction support and site selection, uh, but also then the recruiting process and methods and strategies that help you find these people out there in your market and get them excited to come in. We help them you know, communicate with these individuals. We have tons of marketing materials that they can take advantage of. So you also don't have to create a brand. And creating a brand is, is also its own endeavor just on itself. And if you don't get the brand right, then you you really don't have everything cohesively built when you start a business. So I think when people look at you know starting a business, I think everyone weighs the pros and cons of, do I do it on my own? Do I do a franchise? The idea is that if you go with a franchise, especially a good franchise or like us, that's really supportive with our owners is you can leverage that and, and get better results if you follow that process. So we love people that that want to be a part of something and, and, you know, follow that process. But also we love people that, you know, it's at the core of our business. This is a business that helps other people succeed. Our mission at Image Studios is, is pretty simple. It's just to help other people start a business and become an entrepreneur. And that's that's twofold. That's with our beauty professionals on the ground level. 
but that's also with our image owners, right? We're, we're, we're committed to empowering them to teach, train, and develop these individuals to become experts in their business. My, my personal philosophy has always been very simple, but it's to become an expert. And I challenge all of our image owners as well that no matter what you do in your career, whether you even work with us or not, I would just say, take this away, which is just strive to be an expert because experts always make more money. It's just, you're going to make more money the more expertise that you build in anything. It doesn't matter what you're doing, but I always tell people, think about what you know, and then think about what you don't know that you still need to know in order to become that expert. And the idea with the franchise system and our knowledge base and our training program is then let's help you become an expert because experts always perform better than average, getting better than average results. And again, so, you know, we just people that are driven to do something different. I think, you know, everyone's everyone who's looking to start a business at any stage in their career is looking to solve for a few variables. And those variables are your own motives, but it's important that people be thinking about what is it that I'm actually trying to solve for? Money is usually an obvious top of that list pick, right? I think everyone's trying to solve for how do I create more wealth for me, myself, and my family, but also, but you should be thinking about too, is what are some of the other aspects of entrepreneurship that you're solving for? Again, our, our core values at Image Studios are creativity, freedom, and success. And these are the three pillars, fundamental values that the whole business is built on. We're in a creative industry, working with creative artists. The platform provides freedom for those beauty professionals to also run their own business, to have a lot more time off for their family. And then also for our image owners, they're looking for that freedom aspect that they may be tired of working working for corporate or working 40 hours a week doing one thing and they they rarely get time off. In this case, it affords a lot more freedom. And then the success value is not monetary success, although that's a nice byproduct. But the success value of our value system is the success that is created amongst all of these beauty professionals that become entrepreneurs. It's really inspiring to operate one of these locations and to meet these individuals who a lot of them have, have never thought that they would be able to open a business in their lifetime. They've always said, I'm just, they, they may say, I feel like I'm just a hairstylist. It's like, but you, but you, you can all, you're a great hairstylist. You can also be a business owner. And so it's a, it's a platform that allows other people to elevate themselves. And when you're around that and you're a part of that, that's motivating for you. It's motivating for me. And that's what drove me to continue to grow this brand was it's so much fun to watch other people succeed. You know, you can make money doing anything. You can make money manufacturing pens if you want, right? Like whoever is manufacturing these and they're doing it really well, they're making tons of money, right? That's that's what they're good at. You can do paper clips, you can do car dealerships, you could do restaurants, you could do fitness boutiques. It doesn't matter. You can make money in a lot of endeavors. I think it's important to think about what what you want out of it too. And this is where there's such a fun, uh, altruistic piece of the business that is in my my in my mind, in my opinion, just invaluable because when you get to build something that really makes a difference for other people, that makes it feel really good. And it makes it worth every every amount of you know time and all the hours you put into it to make it a success. And again, what you're building is the cash flow business, right? The, the better you are at recruiting, the better you are at customer service, the longer people reward you by staying there longer. Simple as that, right? That's again, build it right, fill it right, and treat them right. It's just, it comes back to those things. And how do we help support that? And, and those pieces, that is what Image is all about. And that's how we help help our owners get into this and really get started. So yeah, at the end of the day, just, you know, whether it's in my business, working with a client, or in your case, starting a brand, it comes down to what is your why? What do you, what problem are you trying to solve? What are you trying to accomplish? And, you know, I go back to that over and over with many clients that I work with and trying to find that perfect franchise fit. So let me ask you this, from a beauty professional standpoint, this is, I mean, I have seen how you've grown since 2015. I know you're not the only game in town. Also, there are other salon suite concepts out there. Although I'm 
I know you're the best one. So what is the why behind the Salon Suite growth? And aside from an individual wanting to own their own business, what is that financial benefit to them as well? Yeah, that's a great question because that that really is the core of what's driving all of this industry growth in salon suites. You know, salon suites have been around for we we think around 30 years. They started originally in Dallas, Texas, and then from there it just started to kind of adapt and grow across the country. But the last 10 years we've seen a significant growth in this industry. When I first started in franchising, there was there was maybe around 5 or 600 locations across the country for this industry. And today there's about 3,400. And so there's a massive amount of growth and there's, there's a ton of growth ahead as well, because what this, what salon suites do is they provide a platform for people to start a business, but, but why they're starting a business is because of, of how they're paid at traditional salons and spas. So typically if you're a, a hairstylist or an esthetician and you've been in the business for seven or eight years, You've got a pretty full clientele. You're booked out several weeks in advance and you're bringing in $150,000 or $175,000 in what you what your services are for the salon. But typically people are paid 40 or 50% commission on what they bring in. So when you when people start to really think about what, what they're actually earning, they're bringing in six figures, a lot of them. And when they give up half of that, they start thinking, if I continue to do this for another 10 years, like that's, that's serious money, right? So when you do the math, when people move over to a salon suite, they can capture a hundred percent of that revenue they're already generating. And again, I, I talked about earlier, the loyalty and beauty is incredibly strong. People are very loyal to their, to a good hairstylist or their, their, their favorite nail artist or esthetician or their, their person who does their Botox, they will travel to a different part of town if you move from that salon because they're coming for you because you're the talent. So when people leave, they can start a business. They can also, in this kind of environment, as you saw what Image Studios looks like, it's also a huge step up in experience for their clients. And so there's also an opportunity they can raise their prices 10 or 15 or 20% when they move over. So then they can push those numbers even higher, 20%. And instead of giving up half of that, they're keeping all of it. And then what they're paying for is around anywhere from thirteen to seventeen thousand dollars a year for rent, and then their cost of goods operating is pretty minimal. So they still have other, you know, they've got to have their their, you know, they got to pay for their phone bill and they got to pay for their credit card processing now, their insurance. But when you factor in all those other costs to operate, the the leap forward in income is substantial. And so because of that, that is why salon suites have just exploded, is because there's so many good people in the beauty industry who are doing so many great things and making so much money for the salons, but they're going, wait a minute, I'm, I'm the talent. What if I leave? And this is a way to do it without having to build your own salon, which could cost five or $600,000 or more. Then you've got to hire a team of 15 or 20 people. Then you got to manage them. And then all of a sudden you've got a creative artist who's not creating anymore, but now they're doing accounting and they're doing payroll and that takes the fun out of the whole reason they got into the business and so this solves a problem for the industry which is the beauty industry has been notorious for very outdated pay plans and they're not changing these because they're they've built this business around that that gross profit margin on their services so it's also hard for a salon or a spa to just all of a sudden pay people more because they can't and so because that fundamental flaw is why you're seeing so many people who are good in the beauty industry decide to go out and start a business because they can do it safely. They can do it easily with almost no upfront investment at all, other than if they move in a studio, they may want to decorate a few things to customize it. They might need to bring in some product that they want to sell product, maybe some of their color and supplies and all that. But there's there's minimal cost to starting a business in a turnkey space like this. And that's where that's where there's the problem, the solution, and why you see so many people moving. And to give you just some high-level numbers, there's about 1.9 million people in the beauty industry that are that are in the United States right now. Out of the 3,400 salon suite locations with an average of, say, 35 people per location, 
we've got anywhere from 100 to 115,000 professionals that are in the beauty industry in these 3,400 salon suites. That's like really impressive. About 6% penetration of the industry. So you that can just see, shows the additional growth that. Yeah. And so if you think about the next 20 years in this industry, like this industry will eventually be 20 to 25% of the entire beauty industry. But that's an enormous growth curve that's ahead that we're just starting right now. And so when you really think about too, when you're getting into an industry is also what is the long-term growth potential? Because you don't want to get into something where there's not a lot of growth ahead. It may be just stabilizing, right? This is really where it gets exciting is if, you know, for, for when you really think out long-term 10, 15, and 20 years, there's some serious growth opportunity to get in, establish your own footprint in your markets and to really scale your business and capture that market before other people do. And then keeping those people there long-term, which is the success of this business. So. Yeah, I've been able to witness firsthand. So I've been in the Palm Beach area for about three and a half years now, found a stylist and she was in a traditional salon setting. She's 28 years old, probably now she was probably 25 at that time. But she transitioned to a salon suite environment, started her own brand, and that girl is thriving. And it has been so cool to watch her her growth as a business person as well. I mean, I have kids her age, so it just is really impressive that she was provided a forum to be able to become her own independent business owner. So I, you know, any way you look at this business model, I think it is so impressive. It certainly is an investment though. I mean, we can't get around that. You're talking large footprint and tenant improvement that needs to be done. But once you're able to overcome that hurdle of the tenant improvement and get those salon suites filled, the recurring revenue business model of this and the simplicity of the business model. And as you know, to a testament of what you shared with your own locations, the minimal employees needed to run it is, is really attractive to an investor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one other thing I just want to mention too, is, you know, most of these beauty professionals that come into image studios or any salon suite, most of them, not all, but most of them have, have gone to beauty school. Well, if they have a license, they've gone to beauty school, but most have not gone to college or, or been to business school. And at, in beauty school, you're learning a skill. They're not teaching a whole lot of business core concepts because that's not, that's really not part of the curriculum. And so the other thing we've, we've, we've really put a lot of time and effort into is creating our image pro business training program. It's basically our image university. So then when a, when a beauty style, when a beauty professional moves into image studios as part of their membership, they now have access to ongoing education that we do live over zoom every month. And this is forever. And it goes on and on. And, and the, the curriculum we've developed over the last 13 years is basically a business boot camp. We're teaching them how to analyze break even, how to raise prices, how to plan for retirement, how to pay your taxes, how to set up your business. So the other big question a lot of people have that when they look at opening an image studios is so I I'll I, you know, we help with the recruiting and identifying those people, then how do we make sure they stay trained and on top of their game on the business side of things? Because the better we can help them become savvy entrepreneurs, again, it builds that loyalty to the brand, which keeps people on site longer. And that's really kind of looking at the big picture is just, we've got to also help, again, teach, train, and develop, and educate, support, empower these professionals so they get everything they want out of this. And it's it's optional, like they're not forced to go through it, but, but a lot of people do because there's so much value and again, becoming an expert. And it doesn't matter if you're running an image studios, if you're a hairstylist renting a space at image studios, either way, we want to make sure that both of those groups of people have all the support they need to become experts at running a business. Because once you get good at business, you're unstoppable. 
is that a complimentary service to your, to the beauticians or the owners within the salon suite? Or is that it's, something, is, is it a subscription that they pay for? No, it's all included in their weekly rent that they pay. And we, we develop that and, and put that out there at corporate every month. We have an industry expert who, his name's Matthew Landis. He's been a hairstylist and a salon owner for 30 years. He's been with Image for about 10 years. And he's our, he's basically our coach, our mentor, our trainer that puts on these education courses. But when people join the brand, they're, they're getting this just as part of the value that comes with being a part of Image Studios. Okay. And then on the franchisee side is also our ongoing training and roundtables that they have access to forever. So we have our training program that they go in for the first six to eight weeks when they join. But then once they're certified and trained through all the Image training, um, we really encourage people to keep coming back to our, our weekly and monthly roundtables. We're doing all sorts of business development around pro forma analysis, 10-year scaling programs and growth strategies, recruiting strategies, and, and just ongoing operations strategies and, and best practices. So the idea is, again, education I, I, is so important to me and to everyone that's part of this, but we also, that's part of what you get with this is just this also ongoing commitment and support to making sure you become the best you can be at, at entrepreneurship. And so we've always wanted to make sure that that's included so people know that they just have access to this massive amount of support and training once they join Image Studios. That is so impressive and, you know, just really highlights, again, the value of a franchise system with all the support that you just recapped. Well, Jason, thank you so much for joining me today. This is, I, again, love seeing your growth. I'm going to continue to keep an eye on it and hopefully I'll be able to bring a perfect candidate your way soon. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. For anybody that is interested in learning more about the Image Studios concept, please feel free to reach out to me at stacy at fusionfranchising.com. Thanks and have a great day. 